it is hard like uh, especially in uh, the the region we uh, we're from it's uh like the drugs alcohol abuse and the sexual abuse and the, the families fighting all of that stuff I know it's all hard ever since she came to my village she she's helped a lot in the community and uh, I think I was probably one of the first first people to, that she helped. She has uh, made me push uh, further my limp, my talents, my skills. Uh, she she has uh, she has made me a star. <laughs> I think. The majority of the challenges that Salawit faces are rooted in the colonial history. And as a result now, youth on a daily basis face a lot of trauma in the community. Currently, many activists consider that the region of Nunavik to be in a suicide crisis right now. Witnessing the funerals of my students is one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. And I never want to be in that position again. I used to smoke marijuana and I used to smoke cigarettes. I started to miss more courses and, and, and at that time I was in the secondary three and I was about to drop out when Maggie um, brought me to the running club. Uh, I started to run more often and I, I just started to try to be more healthy and respect more my teachers and my family. When I'm working with my runners, an expression I use a lot is that when you run by yourself, you go fast. But when you run with others, you can go so far. I've had youth who've joined the running club. They've actually quit smoking cigarettes. Some have quit smoking marijuana. Some have even come back to school. I've even had youth come to me and tell me when they were going through a very troubled time, when they were having suicidal thoughts, that they were able to use exercise and running as a coping tool to deal with. When she came, everything, everything changed a lot. Like she told me, because I, I, I would always look after my sister and brother. She told me, you have to look, at, you, look after yourself first and do what you want first, be brave and stuff like that. So I started doing stuff for me. That's how she changed me. <laughs> 